You're still watching Ways now. Mac 2.0 Day is celebrate is the, is a celebration of the blending of technology and mathematics. For a lot of us, math wasn't a favorite subject. <laughs> We'd spend the entire period st staring at the equations and wondering what sort of livid madman designed this torture. <laughs> Those torture chambers on papers. Ultimately, however, we then realized that math is utterly indispensable in our modern world. If you've ever wondered who uses math in their day-to-day -day career, you aren't alone. We have some answers for you now. For instance, programmers deal with mathematics every day as it's the framework upon which all computer operations are formed. Then everything again from the order of operations to quadratic equations is necessary to make even the simplest program and also who um, scientists are one of the biggest users of mathematics whether they are calculating the statistical variance of their data or figuring out how much to add to their chemistry experiment it's involved at every step so happy math day <laughs> my daddy would have been proud of this day because oh, my no. dad was a mathematician oh but my humble self <laughs> I, my humble self. If I, I, I can coin my formula and they will all fail. <laughs> <laughs> I have natural discalcula for math. <laughs> you know, like, when, you know how people can't read English? That's sort of how it is with I'm me. I'm horrible with English. Both of you are English so, people. So there is, there is something that I often say. I'm like, dear future husband, listen, English, I've got it covered. You better have sciences and mathematics covered because otherwise our children... <laughs> <laughs> we'll be looking at those and we're like, we cannot do anything with your homework. <laughs> Honestly. Like, I would hear that uh, Pastor Deboe uh, has a PhD in mathematics. I'm like, oh yeah. how yes. will anybody in this life wake up to go and study mathematics? Mm. Hmm. It does, like, what, what, am I, what, what, you, what eh? is it with X and Y? <laughs> what, what Why are you I'm always looking for X and Y? Like, all the mathematics I, stopped, I studied in my life, I only, only use it for road navigation, like angles. I, I know you're coming try. like this, so I have to wait here. That's all. I didn't try to use it for nothing. Thing. Let me hear Jennifer's thoughts on math. <laughs> Jennifer, you must be good at math. Both of us are supposed to be on this page. Science side, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> She's with us. To be honest, no. Yeah. No. I think... She's with us. I think for both math and English, I've always kind of like just trying to find a balance because my dad was a math person. He loved math so much. So mm -hmm. I didn't have a choice but to actually learn math. And that was because I was still under him. Immediately I entered the university and threw math through the window. Why? I started engineering and you would think that I should love calculations, but mm -hmm. I don't. Well, I I studied physics, and the only reason why I chose physics is because I hate English. I don't like English. Just give me the formula. I'll work my way to the answer. I just like go straight to the point. I, I think I'm a logical person, so I'm not the kind of person that will be patiently reading all these long. Epi when I see Sansi write some epistle, I say, "Oh my God!" <laughs> you know, I really, I really enjoy it. But you see, even I don't even have the patience to you read it sometimes. You know, so I cannot you know, imagine me typing those things I sorry it doesn't work i love it so i'm a math i'm a math person so so you're logical and my, my children are actually math people well, happy math day yes thank you absolutely <laughs> happy all right so who are we starting with let me start with jennifer what did you find for us in the news today okay so uh, today i found airline must refund 100 percent efforts to passengers after two hours delay hmm. so what you are saying is if you go to the airport and your flight, if, you, if the airline delays you for one hour, they are supposed to give you refreshments, um, either send you an SMS or a call or an email letting you know of the delay. But once it passes one hour and it's every two hours, then they have to give you your money back. Now, they are also saying that for international flights, if it goes between, if, if, if you're delayed from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m., the airline is mandated to actually book you in a hotel free of charge so what they're saying is we should start learning how to exercise our rights but also even in as much as you're exercising your rights do not be unruly at the airport I, I like the part where they said that if they delay you for an hour, they should at least put a call through to you to apologize, to say sorry, yeah, to let and you know. then give you some refreshments and all of that. These rules have actually been there, but I think it is the knowledge. People, people are not aware of the rules, so they are not able to demand. <laughs> they are not able to demand for 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 what is supposed to be Even your your right. Demand, yeah. They will, they no, 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 no. But you no. Know, not in Nigeria. No, but you know, I, I'm happy about this, and I'm hoping that truly, I mean, there will be penalties for 
airlines that default on this because I mean I remember many years back one particular airline we booked a flight for my entire family myself mm -hmm. my husband and the boys yeah we were supposed to go to Joss they cancelled that flight oh dear you know and till today refused to refund us that money you know I don't understand how you know we we wrote emails several times and it was at some point we said you know what don't worry because we had to get another, they ch so no, they didn't cancel, they changed the time of the flight. And the time of the flight they were giving us, we would have already missed the event we were attending. Oh. So we had to get another ticket, you to know, meet up. to meet up. Only for them to come out to say something, something. You know how they do all those racketeering, yeah. Yeah. where somebody yeah, goes to English. buy, mm -hmm. I mean, somebody goes with your, your ticket and they mm -hmm. use your ticket. We say, how is it possible? We have our ticket for the other airline that we had to yeah. buy emergency to be able to get to the I destination. Mean, I mean, I like so this, it. I like this, um, this, awareness mm. you know i like that that putting it out in the front line because even me frankly speaking i wasn't aware of this like mm. you stay at the airport three hours i'm sorry we're going for another 30 minutes before you move and you're like okay you you're there frustrated but the fact that this is out there we all know it it's good because it puts a sense of responsibility on the airline absolutely. because this is a daily occurrence absolutely at the airport absolutely you know? so yes all right so easy quickly let's hear your story i'm going to keep it quite short <laughs> <laughs> and my story goes to uh, insecurity NYSC should be two years core should be two years core members must be trained to handle guns and this was spoke said by um, the Taraba state governor Darius Ishaku as part of measures to curb the rising insecurity in the country the Taraba state governor has said that members of the National Youth Corps should be allowed to undergo military training in order to know how to handle guns for yeah. self-defense and he also stated that they should stay for, um, uh, youth service should be two years and not a year and the reason and for the, me yeah. i still I, I don't want to i don't want to go into the reason mm. but for me basically we are already complaining that one year is already a waste of time based on the situation in the country and uh, mm. the insecurity in the country so why would you want and to boy, because of the insecurity so I, I want to reason with what he said let me break it down so he okay. said the okay. reason he's saying two years is that most of these um, young chaps, they are supposed mm. to go through military training. And for it to be really effective, you know, a one-year period would not be enough. So they might okay. need to extend. That is the reason for the two years. But however, honestly speaking, I do not mind right now going to go and get gun training, gun lessons. Absolutely. Military training. Because, you see, but again, I just mm -hmm. heard that getting a license to, to, hand, to have a gun is in Nigeria is quite process. expensive. So yes. that's what I heard. You know, because at this point now, it is almost like... Every, Every man point for you himself. go, it is all man for himself. So maybe uh, it might make sense if these people truly have this um, training. So mm. you can actually ward off some kind of whatever. But as long as they are also able to match the training with actually equipping them with the weapons. Because if you are trained and you don't have weapons to, to defend yourself, then what's mm. of what use is the training? Well, you know, there is something <clears throat> South Korea does. Mm. Mm -hmm. Every young male under the age of 30 you must, must serve undergo in the army the military yeah so if that is what they want to do make it official and let us know mm. that this is what you want to do other than that i don't think first extending nysc for two years i don't see the benefits in mm. that exactly. but if you insist on the military training i think with the state of things in the country we, we need more young people to step up to you know maybe be protectors for the family and stuff so maybe out of that one year of nysc you can say okay three weeks is for camp and then um, three weeks is, well, sorry about that, um, three weeks is for um, NYSC training and then maybe another one month at the end of your training before you get your certificate will now be for the military mm -hmm. exercise and stuff, you know. And it, it's also quite dicey because you need to examine people um, <laughs> mentally, mentally, yeah, yeah before mentally, yeah. To be sure that they, they can, can handle, handle weapons before yeah, we start they killing each other. Information Absolutely. You're out to them. All right, so my story is actually also tied to security. It says um, Ekboma, um, Benin Ekboma Auchi Road was blocked today. Um, protesters, um, uh, protesters blocked that road, insisting that they were um, insistent kidnappings that have been happening on that road. Quite and they've true. had it, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there was a video that went viral. I don't know if they can mm -hmm. pull out that video where somebody was filming. You know, inside that video, there was a particular Sienna bus. There was blood in the bus. And it was mm -hmm. saying that this thing just happened last night, you know. Mm -hmm. So they are blocking the road, saying that nobody's going anywhere. You know, if the, if the video, they are hoping that that video will get to President Buhari because it is mm -hmm. getting too much. Mm -hmm. Where, you know, you are just there 
kidnappers, going about your uh, business, heads, Fulani headsmen with yes. AK-47 coming at you and attacking and kidnapping people. Exactly. I mean, just this morning, I was having a conversation with my, my husband this morning, mm. and he said that even in our farm, um, some Fulani headsmen came, they camped yeah. there for three nights. For so real. usually what they, their style, the I'm telling you, that in the style what they do is that when they camp, they use that time to study, to study the, the environment. environment. Mm -hmm. So not quite, I think last week they kidnapped somebody in a nearby farm. You understand? So when they study the environment, they've seen everything, they now then come back. So they come with the cattle, they, they are like disguised with cattle, but they actually have like spies. the AK-47. So we had to double up our own security yes. at the farm. So this wow. security thing is becoming, because it's really close it's to now home. Close. And that's why I said earlier that I do not mind having a gun right now, because honestly speaking, at this point, it, it, get, it has gotten to a stage where I need to shoot someone if you, if you, if you want to try to attack me. I think we're getting you know? to that place where yes. every Nigerian should learn self-defense. Self-defense. You, you must have a weapon to defend yourself, because at this point, we do not even know anymore. You are, you are driving on the road, you see people in military uniform, you're supposed to be calm, but no, you're tense because you do not know whether they are real military people mm -hmm. or they are kidnappers disguised as military people. So, mm. the, the state of insecurity, I do not even understand how our leaders can sleep at night, because it is too alarming look it at what happened because, in kaduna it is because they don't understand leadership we have people who <sighs> get into authorities based on manipulation they don't become leaders by influence they become leaders just by title position i will manipulate you into so you it know. is too it's too much too many right so if people are asking that please let us find a solution to this we have to find a solution to this i'm happy that yesterday i took the story on the, uh, the senate um, house of reps uh, passing this um, the second reading of the state policing we just mm. have to do something it is getting too much that somebody just think it's their right to come and attack somebody just like that entitlement ha. that's that's part of the entitlement thing. all right so we'll take a break oh, we're talking oh. entitlement today and relationships <laughs> let me calm down i'll go and drink water we'll i don't right want to back. talk about nigeria <laughs> <laughs>